From the program's opening page, we have several items we can select. In the upper right corner are tabs we'll use as we create our order. To resume an order, select the order from the list and click the Load Selected Order button. As past orders accumulate in the list, select an order and click the Delete Selected Order button to remove the order from the program. To begin a new order, click the Create a New Order button. Step 1, the Start step, is displayed. From here, we will configure our order from the available options. First, input a descriptive name for the order. Once our order is received, we can use the order name to locate the order via the Order History tab on the Miller's website. The School Name section is where we will input information for the school. If we create a school with a Manage School Year Sets option described in Video 1, we can select the school from the pull down menu here. Otherwise, select the Create New School option to input the information for the school we are working with. In addition, we can click here to edit, create, or delete a school's information. For this demonstration, we will click the first icon here to create a new school. Click inside the school name field and input the name of the school, or from the pull down menu, choose the name of the school to be previously entered into the software. Press the tab key and input the school year. Input the school's address. And finally, input our contact information in any special notes for the school. Click the Save button. Next, we'll select the type of order we wish to create. For this example, we'll create a standard order for the default option. Please note, additional movies are available that demonstrate how to use proofs for school orders. In the Cutter Density Adjustments section, we will choose how the order is to be printed. By default, Millers will adjust each photo in the order. Or, click the Do Not Correct option to have the photos printed without any adjustments made by Millers. Next, our photos can be placed in a window envelope by selecting the Package option. Specify if the envelopes are to remain open or closed when shipped. If open is selected, reorder forms can be easily inserted into the envelopes at the studio. Or, as we see here, forms can be sent to Millers and the forms will be inserted into the envelope for us. Next is the Special Order Instructions field. In this area, special notes pertaining to the order can be added for the technicians at Millers. Once the order is finished, Millers will send the order to the address on file for our account. Or, click the Drop Ship checkbox here to have the order sent to a different address. Complete the address fields as we see here. Be certain to input the street address of the recipient and not a post office box. The cost to drop ship an order is $6. It is not available for orders shipped COD or cash on delivery. Once we have made our selections, be certain to review our choices. Click on Step 2, the Configure tab, to create the packages and select the other options for our order.